Welcome to WCI's series of webinars for ClickView, produced by ClickTech. Today what we're going to talk about is creating gauges and how they can be useful in creating a scorecard for your data. So to add a gauge, it's very, very simple. What we can do is we can right click, choose a new sheet object, and go to chart. We're going to change our window title to uncollected revenue. We're going to remove the title and the chart. We're going to add a gauge here, choose the gauge chart type, and hit next. We're not going to use a dimension here uh, because we want to show it for the entire dashboard. Go ahead and click next. We're going to go ahead and use an expression that we've used before. That's the sum ordered amount divided by sum amount times 100 to give us a percentage. I'm going to click OK. We can use a label here as well. In this case, I'm going to call this uncollected revenue. Go ahead and next. We don't want to sort by any dimensions as we don't have any. We're going to go ahead and choose a very simple gauge here as well. Click next. And then we're going to change our values to a maximum of 20. Since we multiply everything to get a percent, we want 20%. In this case, lower is better. The lower amount of uncollected revenue, the better. So what we're going to do is the first section, which has a lower bound of zero, we're going to label this as a good segment, and we're going to make that green. Now, as you can see, as we go to the second segment, what happens here is that ClickView is automatically expecting that I have some value that it knows better than I do. What I'm going to go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and remove the auto with segment so I can change this lower bound. And we're going to change this lower bound to 8. We're going to call this middling to show that we're not in, a, in great shape, but it's not worse as it could be. We're going to choose a lighter yellow color to give a kind of a smooth transition. I'm going to add another segment, change this to warning, and go ahead and change this lower bound to 12 and make that a darker yellow, and then anything over 15, we're going to call this danger, and change its lower bound to 15, and change the color to red. Now I can also do a number of different indicators here as well. I can do a choose a fill the value so that it simply moves it across. I like the needle and fill the value, so we're going to go ahead and do that. You can also change the color of the indicator. In this case, I prefer a lighter green for my needle. I can also then choose what major units are. I can also show labels on every major unit. So if I choose one, it's going to label every single unit. If I do two, it's going to show it just on each, on each individual one. On the second one in each case, we're going to just choose a one here. We can also change the angle span to 360 to create an entire circle gauge. In this case, we're going to stay with 270. You can also do a number of other things as in adding text to the chart, doing a number of other options here as well. And then as those that are familiar with our chart wizard here, we can go to next. We don't have any actions that we're going to apply at this time. We can also change the data appearance if we had a number of dimensions, which isn't appropriate for here. And then also, if you had any uncollected revenue, you can dictate how it was displayed on our pop-up. So we're going to go ahead and click Finish. And as you can see right now, 8% of our revenue is outstanding right now, or 7.69%. But if we wanted to, we could go ahead and filter by an individual store. And we can see, as the chart moves along, that occasionally, we have values that are in danger. And as you can see, it fills up as it's going around. Now, not only can we sort by one item, but by simply adding another list box by our month, and we clear everything. So we can choose for the month of April, right, we have 9% of our revenue has been uncollected. If we click on 11, 
approximately 11%. And then for 5%, you can see these are the customers who made orders during the month of, of May. And so I can also choose from our sale in the month of May, 12% of his data, of his revenue has been uncollected. And so perhaps we need to give him a call and see what the holdup there is. So that concludes our session here on how to create gauges in ClickView. If you have any more questions, please contact us and check out our other webinars. Thank you very much.